Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late yesterday in my region on the 14th, uh, Google rolled out their early stable release for Chrome version 122, which is going to be our next stable release. And as always, the early stable, Google rolls out a week or so before the actual official public release to iron out bugs and little issues before um, the majority of users get it the following week. Now, because they rolled it out um, on the 14th, I would suggest that we would get the stable release of version 122 rolling out on the 20th or the 21st next week. And as always, the early stable um, hasn't rolled out to the majority of users, including myself. Only select users and a limited subset of users have access to the early stable. And when the official release of version 122 rolls out next week, uh, the browser version and build uh, will be bumped up to version 122.0.6261.39 for Windows and 122.0.621.49 for Mac users. Now, as always, because there are no release notes yet for Chrome version 122, um, it's not clear at this stage what security vulnerabilities um, will be patched, but we can always... Um, rely on Google rolling out the security fixes with every major version upgrade and they also roll out security fixes now on a weekly basis so we will get our security updates rolling out next week with version 122 and because there are no release notes just a quick overview as to what we could expect to see and obviously this is not a comprehensive and final list this could be subject to change but just a couple of things um, if you would be interested that we could see when it comes to new features and tweaks and adjustments to the browser. Now, first of all, um, Google is going to be adjusting their safe browsing in the browser, which we can head to by heading to our systems, privacy and security page and clicking on security. And yeah, we get safe browsing, which basically um, is a protection against websites, downloads and extensions that are known to be dangerous that's actually built into the browser i personally have mine on enhanced protection i think the default is standard but i always keep mine on enhanced now when it comes to adjusting its safe browsing uh, with version 122 apparently this is to increase chrome's performance so they're focusing yeah a little bit again on the performance side of things and they are possibly going to introduce a feature which they are terming asynchronous safe browsing checks and in a nutshell, what this is, is that Chrome will begin loading a page before it receives a response from the safe browsing um, feature that's built into the browser. So um, trustworthy sites should load more quickly. So that's where the performance side comes in, as safe browsing will no longer act as a barrier. And if you visit an untrustworthy site, obviously you'll see that red warning label, um, but it may appear after the site has finished loading. Now, although this may increase the browser's performance, there may be a little bit of a security loophole here. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch. So that asynchronous, as they are calling it, safe browsing checks, um, could possibly be rolling out with our next stable release, version 122. Now, just to focus on some other uh, new features that could be rolling out, and Web GPU, which is a graphics API, could be getting some improvements. And just a quick overview of Web um, GPU. Basically, it gives you the um, experience of using your local GPU, your graphics processing unit, to render graphics and perform um, tasks and computations from web apps and web applications. Now, the improvement is that Google um, is developing a compatibility mode that will give a slightly constrained version of Web GPU that is compatible with earlier APRs. So basically what this will do, this improvement, it will increase the possible user base for Web GPU. So that's also something uh, we can possibly see roll out uh, next week. And that's a feature that is so-called taking place behind the scenes, for want of a better word. Now, this next one is Help Me Write. And we've actually spoken about this previously on the channel when Chrome version 121 rolled out. Um, about three to four weeks ago where with version 121 google announced that they were working on new generative ai so for this we're going to have to head over to chrome canary because uh, this hasn't rolled out yet to the stable version and yeah we can see experimental ar and this is the um 
this is the generative AR that Google has been working on. And we could possibly see some more of this rollout where you can create themes with AR. And I've been focusing on this quite a lot on the channel. So you can just do a search accordingly if you'd like some more info. And one of the features they mentioned regarding this experimental generative AR is a feature called Help Me Write, which basically um, has, has the capability and will be available in the context menu. So as an example, if you are browsing on the web, you right click, it should be a feature and could be a feature with version 122 that um, is listed in the context menu as help me write. And basically what this does is if you right click on a text, um, it will help you write sh short form content using AR and give you suggestions based on your prompts and the content of the web page. So that's something we could possibly see roll out. And like most uh, browsers now, Google is starting to push this experimental AI a lot more in Google Chrome. So I think moving forward now, we are going to see a lot more AI rolling into Google Chrome. And then just to mention this last one, once again, with the, um, the reading mode. And reading mode, as an example, uh, is something that Google has been working on. I've posted quite a lot of content on this. And it is possible we could possibly see the read aloud rolling out to reading mode. So basically what this will do, it will read the text you see on your screen uh, from the site panel and using the reading mode, which basically is an accessibility feature. So as an example, if you highlight any text on a web page and you enable read aloud, it will then read that text you have highlighted allowed as the name implies. So that's just a couple of um, so-called highlights we could expect to see roll out. Obviously not a comprehensive list and uh, um, that we, the version 122 we are going to see roll out next week and obviously when that does become official I will post and keep you guys updated. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.